Now then, when you think about rebellious uh, pop icons in the 1960s, you'll probably conjure images of the Stones and Bob Dylan. But some of the biggest stars of the decade were a group of DJs broadcasting on the airways on ships out at sea in true pirate style. One of them has been immortalised on film in the new comedy The Boat That Rocked, which opens today. That man, many say, put the pirate into pirate radio. He joins us now. He's, of course, Emperor Roscoe. Great to meet you. Nice After all to these be years, here. Having Glad listened I to made you. It. Yeah, you did. I listen, used to listen to you. I was there when you were, some of your mates were chucked off Radio Caroline in the north on the Isle of Man. Uh, you've seen this movie. Some of them deservedly so. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> some of them survived to tell the tale and had very successful careers as well. But anyway, um, you've seen this movie. What do you make of it? I actually liked it. I was prepared to kind of go iffy, iffy. I don't know if they can deal with that situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I saw it, my, action was, my reaction was the same as, as the, the rest of the audience. It was just like 60 seconds of solid applause at the end because Richard actually got the, the magic. He nailed the spirit of the times. You can nitpick about the, the you know, little the bits and pieces. Yeah. But, you know, first of all, it's going to be the best soundtrack you ever heard. Because yeah. It's all that great music of the time, which carries a movie like that. Sure. You add it to his magic of editing and cutting. Uh, it's it's ace. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it again. Now I used to sit in my uh, in bed or listen to you on on the, on the radio, thinking what it was like on board that ship. I mean, you were lucky in the sense you've been in the U.S. Navy, so you were presumably weren't one of the ones who were sick all the time. But what was the atmosphere like? What was the camaraderie? Was the camaraderie good? There was camaraderie uh, simply because we were so dedicated at the time to to defeating the BBC mm. and actually and defeating the and defeating the Labour government. Uh, because the conservatives were very pro the pirates, so we would do anything we could to edge it in the right direction. And what I did then, I'm still doing today. Mm. I mean, uh, every week, it's still somewhere, you know, on little stations around the country, you'll find uh, the L.A. connection and coast-to-coast -coast country. But you not only had a great name, Emperor Roscoe, which obviously isn't your real name, but you were also quite a character, because I remember, if you didn't like a record, you, you used to say anyway, you were throwing it out the portals into the city. You doubted that? Now that you've met me, do I look like... No, seriously, I would because I thought that the, the, the ship and the sound and our message was far more important than helping out uh, somebody who didn't make a great record. Mm. And we wanted only the great records that rocked. Yeah. And when you were choked off, Harold Wilson's outlawed you, didn't he? And, and he chucked you off the seas. I'm, you're all hoisted off your boats and, and brought back. And ironically, then it went to work for the BBC, the very organization that had been so pitted against you. Wasn't that the natural things? Uh, that, that's the way it had to happen, you know. It, and when we started, now you imagine a radio station like had 37 DJs doing 20-minute bits and 30-minute bits. Uh, you had to kind of mull it down. It's like when you make your stock, it gets better and better as it boils down. As the DJs were selected, they were more and more popular on radio. Sure. One, you ended up at the core. Who, who plays you, by the way? Sorry, dear. Who, who plays you in the film? Um, Mr. Uh, Seymour. Philip so Seymour. I'm, so oh, I'm told. Oh, yeah. marvelous. Uh, Oscar winner, and why not? Oh, so, well, no less you. Let's face it, I mean, playing me is something that takes a little bit of How special uh, have mercy and all I the I tell you what, George yeah. Clooney wants to play John Stapleton in yeah, the film of his life. I'll audition in person. I got a feeling you're doing a rap. <laughs> I can see, your I can tell when the exit's here. <laughs> Still to come on GMTV, we've got lots of showbiz for you. We are talking talent with Amanda Holden <coughs> and doing deals with Noel Edmonds. Uh, but first, let's find out uh, what the weather's doing here, Stroud.